The Toyota Sienna is the most popular minivan, selling nearly 10,000 more than the also popular Honda Odyssey last year. With the new Chrysler Pacifica now out, it's not surprising that Toyota's decided to up the ante and to give all 2017 Siennas an upgraded powertrain and more standard features. As always, in this review we'll be covering all trims of the 17 Sienna, including the L, LE, SE, XLE, and Limited, as well as the premium versions of each. With the Sienna facing stiffer competition than ever, let's see if it will continue to outpace its rivals. We would like to specially thank Toyota on Nicholasville for allowing us to come out and film this review. We've provided a link to their website in the description if you'd like to check it out. All Sienna's will have remote keyless entry as standard, and on the XLE and above you'll have a smart key access system. The silver key fob has lots of buttons, including buttons for each power door and power tailgate. Our Sienna also has remote start. Let's go ahead and check out the new powertrain. The biggest changes for the 2017 Sienna lie under the hood. All Siennas will get a new 3.5 liter V6, which produces 30 more horsepower than last year's. It has a class-leading 296 horsepower and 263 pound-feet of torque. Another big change for the Sienna is a new transmission. All Siennas will now have an 8-speed automatic transmission, in place of last year's 6-speed. These changes help the 17 Sienna to achieve a substantial improvement in fuel economy. It is rated at 19 city, 27 highway, 22 combined for the front wheel drive, and 18 city, 24 highway, 20 combined for the all wheel drive. And that brings up one of the Sienna's unique features. Unlike any of its competition, on the Sienna you can opt for an all-wheel drive system, and that all-wheel drive system is available on every trim as well. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Sienna. The Sienna has always been one of the more stylish minivans, so for 2017, Toyota left well enough alone. Most models will have this grille, which is a mixture of chrome and dark gray bars. The base L model will get a solid black front grille, and the SE gets a sporty mesh grille. Every Sienna besides the Limited Premium gets regular halogen beam headlamps. The Limited Premium gets upgraded HID headlamps with LED daytime running lights. SE models and up will get fog lamps as standard equipment. The SE also gets a lower body kit for a more aggressive look.
XLE Premium models will get these 18-inch 10-spoke alloy wheels. The top-of-the-line Limited models get machine-finished 18-inch 10-spoke alloy wheels, and the SE gets the largest Sienna wheel at 19 inches. All Siennas will get 12.9-inch ventilated disc brakes in the front, and 12.2-inch disc brakes in the rear. Naturally, all models will ride on all-season tread. Most Siennas will have these color-keyed heated mirrors. L models get solid black mirrors, while the limited models gain LED turn signal indicators. XLE models and above will get the blind spot monitoring system, which lights up these indicators if a car is in your blind spot. The Sienna is 200.2 inches long, which makes it essentially identical to its main competitor, the Honda Odyssey, and for reference is about 10 inches longer than the Toyota Highlander. Of course, safety ratings are very important to minivan buyers, and the Sienna mostly delivers. It scored good on all of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's test, except on the difficult small front overlap test, where it scored acceptable. Because of this, the Sienna is not considered a top safety pick under the new stricter guidelines. The back of the Sienna is fairly sporty and athletic looking, which stands out for a minivan. Sienna is engraved into this lip, and on limited models this piece is finished in chrome. The tail lamps are partially LED and feature an interesting wraparound design. On the SE they are fully LED and have clear taillight lenses. The tailpipe is hidden under the bumper. All models get the spoiler with a windshield wiper hidden underneath it and the LE and up will get roof rails. Every Sienna has a 20 gallon gas tank. With the upgraded powertrain, the Sienna now gets a 440 mile fuel range for the front wheel drive and a 400 mile range for the all wheel drive. These are 20 mile increases over last year's Sienna. Let's go ahead and check out the most important part of a van its interior. Our Sienna XLE has the ash leather interior with faux wood accents. Of course it's available in a lot of different combinations, ranging from ash or bisque cloth seating on the LE, black leather on the SE, and exclusive chestnut premium leather on the Limited. The door trim is a mix of soft touch plastic, leather, and wood. The fake wood is also pretty realistic. Every window is auto up and down. LE models and above get this 8-way power adjusting driver's seat with power lumbar support. Limited models add memory seats. As you would expect, the cabin is very spacious and airy feeling. You have a large front windshield and a steeply raked front hood. The side windows are also large, and so is the back window, though it seems a hundred miles away. A moonroof is standard on most models, and if you opt for the limited, you can get a dual panel setup. Now let's talk about the material quality of the cabin. Up here you have soft touch plastic with stitching, 
though it is hard way up here. However, as we go down, everything else is nicely padded, plus fit and finish is great. Let's go ahead and start her up. SE Premium and above get push button ignition. Every model besides the base L will get the 7 inch high resolution touchscreen. The gauges are a different color depending on the trim. They have a black background on the L and LE, white on the SE, and blue on the XLE and Limited. Sienna's SE and up will get this 4.2 inch multi-information display. It has a standard affair of information, including navigation if you have that equipment. Every Sienna has electric power steering, and on the SE and up it is leather trimmed. The wheel is loaded with buttons, but they are big and nicely spaced. This side over here is for the multifunction display. Your wiper and headlight stocks. The wheel is manually adjusting on all models. There are a few buttons over here. You've also got a coin tray. Another critical item for a minivan is storage space, and the Sienna has it in spades. This center console is very deep and could easily fit a handbag or something like that. There is also this large empty space over here, since the shifter is dash mounted and there's plenty of door storage. Down here you have a USB and a 12 volt power outlet. If you opt for the premium versions of either the SE, XLE, or Limited, you get this Blu-ray DVD system, which we'll look at more in the back. There is another 12 volt power outlet, USB, and an aux jack. SC models and above get multi-stage heated front seats. You've got some more pop-out cup holders in addition to these. Moving up here you'll find these climate controls on every model. It is three zone automatic and you can sync all three zones to be the same temperature. All of the buttons are large, easy to use, and the info appears on the screen above. Coming to the shifter, you'll see that it's wood covered and mounted up here to keep the center area free. You can shift manually by pushing the shifter to the left, though paddle shifters are not available. Every model gets a backup camera, though the L doesn't get projected path. On the limited, you get two views. Base Siennas have four speakers, but most come with this middle sound system, which features six speakers. Limited models gain a 10-speaker JBL premium audio system with a subwoofer. LE, SE, and XLE get Intune Audio Plus with connected navigation. But premium models like we have here come with Intune Premium Audio with integrated navigation. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this system. This is the newest version of the Intune system, and it greatly benefits from the added processing power. The system moves quickly, and the new capacitive touchscreen is very responsive. There are handy shortcut buttons along the side of the screen as well. Other nice apps include phone, and Bluetooth is standard on every model. You do get text message support. Of course if you get the premium or limited models, 
you get the Intune app suite, which includes Bing Search, Facebook Places, iHeartRadio, MovieTickets.com, OpenTable, Pandora, Yelp, real-time traffic, weather, fuel prices, sports, and stocks. This is all subscription-free, by the way. Overall, the system is fast, intuitive, and has lots of features. If you would like to see a deep dive into the Intune system, including all the detailed settings, then check out our dedicated Intune Tech Help video. A link is provided in the description. You do get an auto-dimming mirror with Homelink garage door openers and a compass on most models. Your sunglass holder with a conversation mirror. There's your moonroof, power door, and tailgate controls. Your sun visor does have integrated lights. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Of course the doors automatically slide back like the typical minivan. You've got a generous 37.3 inches of rear legroom and 39.7 inches of rear headroom in the second row. The window is fully automatic. You do also get a window sunshade. Over here you have a seat back pocket and coat hook. These are your video inputs for the rear seat entertainment system, and this household power outlet is included with the entertainment package. This rear seat entertainment stuff comes on the SE, XLE, and limited premiums. The seats are highly adjustable. They can go all the way up until they are basically touching the first row. Getting back to the third row is incredibly easy with the captain's chairs. Once you're back here, you have plenty of space with the second row all the way back. The third row has its own air vents, assist grips, and lighting. Over here you've got, good grief, a hard to open storage bin with a plug for extra headphones. Two pairs of wireless headphones come with the DVD system. Here they are. Here's the actual screen. It's very big at 16.4 inches, and it can split the screen to play two different things at once. The power tailgate is standard on all but the base L and LE. In the back you have an absolutely enormous 117.8 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the second row and 150 cubic feet behind the first row.
The cargo area even goes very deep down, giving you even more space. This is probably going to look awful, but I'm going to try and fold the seat. It's much easier with both hands. When you get them folded, the floor is flat. Overall, the rear of the Sienna is impressive. The seats are comfortable and there is loads of space. The rear seat entertainment system has one of the largest screens I have ever seen on any car as well. The seats are made of the same soft leather and are four-way power adjusting on the XLE and above. The armrest is adjustable. The dash is padded and hides a large storage compartment. There is also a large glove box which is dampened and illuminated. The passenger's visor also has a mirror and light. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the 2017 Toyota Sienna XLE Premium. Stay tuned for the pricing information of this particular model, as well as the rest of the Sienna lineup. Please like and subscribe for more detailed car reviews. See you next time.